Der Erinter is an American five-piece indie rock group originating from Atlanta, Georgia. The band, consisting of Bradford Cox, Moses Archuleta, Frankie Broyles, Josh McKay and Lockett Punt, have described themselves as ambient punk, though they incorporate a wide range of genres, including noise rock, garage rock, art rock, shoegaze, and post-punk, as well as significant pop elements. The band has gone through several lineup changes and the death of a member. History, 2001 to 2005, Formation and Turn It Up Faggot, the band was co-founded in 2001 by vocalist Bradford Cox and drummer keyboardist Moses Archuleta. The name Der Hunter came from the band's interest in the Deer Hunter series of arcade games. The band was joined by Colin May whom Cox met while May was living at the Atlanta label Die Slaughterhouse Records with members of Black Lips. In 2004 the group's first bassist, Justin Bosworth, died of head injuries suffered in a skateboarding accident. He appeared on only one Der Inter release, the Der Inter Alphabet Split, issued before their debut album. Joshua Fova, of Atlanta punk band Electro Sleep International, then took up the position as bassist. Bosworth's death influenced the sound of Der Erenter's first album, Turn It Up Faggot, which was the result of a lot of negativity. After the band finished the album, in an indication of how difficult it was to record in the wake of his bandmate's death, Cox said I don't ever want to make this album again. The album's liner notes are dedicated to Bosworth. After the release of Turn It Up Faggot, Cox asked his best friend from high school, Lockett Punt, to join the band. 2005-2007, Cryptograms and Fluorescent Grey EP, the band, now featuring Punt's reverb-saturated guitar sound, went on tour, playing shows with the likes of Lightning Bolt and Gang Gang Dance. This tour culminated in a recording session engineered by acclaimed folk musician Samara Lubelski at Rare Book Room, New York. This session failed to produce anything that could be used, due to Cox's Euro unregistered trademark s mental and physical state at the time, as well as disagreements that emerged with Lubelski. Cox has kept a copy of the sessions on a scratched CD or under my bed, and has stated that nobody will ever hear them. In spite of Cox's claim excerpts from those sessions were later posted as a free download on the band's blog. The band returned to the same studio where they recorded their first album outside Athens, Georgia and decided to give recording their second album another attempt. This was partly due to advice received from the band Liars, who encouraged them to re-record it. It took only two days in November 2005 for the band to record their second album, entitled Cryptograms. In 2006, before its release, Pitchfork Media added Spring Hall Convert, a song from the record, to its Infinite Mixtape series. The album was released by Cranky in January 2007. The album revealed a more subdued and introverted sound for the band. As with their first album, Cryptograms also had a dedication inside the album's liner notes, this time to a friend of Cox's, Bradley Ira Harris, a heroin addict who died in 2005. On May 8, 2007, the group released the Fluorescent Grey EP, which was recorded in July 2006. In the same month, the band released the Whirly Ball 7 Inches single, which was only available at Criminal Records, a record shop in Atlanta. The single also acted as a ticket to a show. On August 29, 2007, the group became a quartet with the loss of guitarist Colin May. May departed because he couldn't make it to a couple of shows we had booked next weekend and that was unacceptable to certain bandmates. May rejoined the band after their autumn 2007 European tour. 2007-2009, Microcassel and Hiatus, Der Erente contributed the song After Class to Living Bridge, a compilation put together by Rare Book Room Records. The song was recorded in the same place where they attempted to record their second album. They returned to Rare Book Room Studios in April 2008 to record Oh, It's Such a Shame. A J-rated cover that would be released as a split single with Rated himself covering the fluorescent grey title track. In the same month they recorded their next album, Microcastle. Prior to the announced release date for the LP, the band continued to tour, with one date opening for the Smashing Pumpkins and a select of four shows opening for Nine Inch Nails. 
the quartet's third offering, Microcastle, was set to be released on October 27, 2008 although it became available through peer-to-peer -peer networks in late May. In an attempt to reward fans who awaited for the street date, the group reconvened to record a new album of material, Weird Era Cond, which later leaked before its street date also. However, Microcastle did manage to debut at No. A123 on the Billboard 200, a first for Der Erenter. Colin May again left the band, to be replaced by former cheerleader and high school friend of Cox's, Whitney Petty. While touring the Microcastle album in the UK, Cox booked an evening in a studio and recorded what would become the On Platzi Yacht cassette. This was released in two batches of 100 copies each. An edition of Pink Cassettes was given out to competition winners by his record label and Orange Cassettes were sold at a special Halloween concert in Atlanta on 31 October 2008. In a comment left on the Der blog on February 28, Cox announced that Whitney Petty was no longer a member of the band, stating, while on tour, the band managed to release Rainwater Cassette Exchange, an EP of songs written during the Microcastle sessions, and Vox Celeste 5, a sub-pop single of songs from Weird Era Cont and Microcastle. To promote the releases, they embarked on a short summer trek with No Age and Dan Deacon as the No Deach Hunter tour. Later during a performance at All Tomorrow's Party's 2009 Music Festival in September, Bradford Cox announced that the band will be going on hiatus to devote time to some other things, calling the show their last for a long time. During the hiatus, Bradford Cox continued with Atlas Sound and released his second album Logos. Josh Fova resumed work with his record label Army of Bad Luck. Moses Archuleta enrolled in culinary school, and Lockett Punt performed some shows in celebration of the Floodlight Collective. His debut album as Lotus Plaza released in March of that year. 2010, Halcyon Digest. In early January, it was revealed that the group would serve as openers on the upcoming Spoon Tour to promote their album Transference. Along with the Spoon Tour, the group also announced some shows of their own, including stops at the 2010 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival, and all tomorrow's parties during these shows. The band began to debut some new material, including the songs Helicopter, Primitive 3D, Fountain Stairs, and Revival all of which would end up being recorded for their next studio session to follow. In June, Der Ernte took a short break from touring to record Halcyon Digest. Initial news of the album became public when music industry firm, Milk Money, posted a message on their Twitter account that the band had been mixing the new record with Ben Allen. A week later the band launched a new website where they announced the title and release date of the LP, along with a guerrilla-style marketing campaign. The first single Revival, was made available to fans who had assisted the band with promotion for the new album through a link via official email. In the same month, director John Albrecht posted a trailer for an upcoming live video on his Vimeo page set to be released later in the year. It has been recently announced that Der Erenter will be providing an original score to The The Curve of Forgotten Things, a short film by the fashion line Rodart starring Elle Fanning, 2013 present, Monomania, on March 22, 2013, Der Erenter announced their sixth studio album would be released on May 7, 2013. The album, entitled Monomania, was recorded in New York with frequent collaborator and producer Nicholas Vernhiers at his Rare Book Room studio. For Monomania, former bassist Josh Fova was replaced by Josh McKay, and Atlanta native Frankie Broyles was brought in to play guitar. Der Erenter's press release describes the record as nocturnal garage, and a Euro event guard. But only in context not form slash before logic, fog machine slash leather slash neon a Euro on April 2, 2013 the band performed the song Monomania on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Current plans, it has been announced they will headline and curate the All Tomorrow's Parties music festival held at Ponton's Holiday Camp in Camber Sands. England from the 21 Euro June 23, 2013. At the event they will perform the cryptograms, microcassel and Halcyon Digest albums in full, with Atlas Sound also performing. Der Erenter was announced as a headliner at Austin Psych Fest, the sixth annual festival held April 26 the Euro 28, 2013, Heineken Primavera Sound, Optimus Primavera Sound, 
and will perform Live at Dancity Festival along with FYF Fest in Los Angeles, this summer. Der and have also been asked to play at the Meredith Music Festival this December in Victoria, Australia. Influences The band has revealed many artists and genres that contribute to Der and his sound. A New York Times concert review mentioned the Breeders, Strullab, Disco Rhythm, Crawtrock, Sonic U the Euro unregistered trademark S noise breakdowns, girl group pop, the picked eighth note bass lines of 1980s indie rock, as influences. The song Coronado from Halcyon Digest features saxophone sounds inspired by the Rolling Stones album Exile on Main Street. Cox recalled, I wanted that sax on there because I was listening to the Stones' Exile on Main Street reissue a lot. I began to see a pattern forming. Saxophones are becoming this thing. That's why we did it early. Next year everyone's gonna have a saxophone on their record because saxophones are just cool. Members, Bradford Cox, lead vocals, guitar, percussion, keyboards, electronics, locket punt, guitar, occasional lead vocals, keyboards, Moses Archuleta, drums, percussion, electronics, Frankie Broyles, guitar, Josh McKay, bass guitar, organ, discography, studio albums, Turn It Up Faggot, Cryptograms, Microcissel, Weird Era Cont, Halcyon Digest, Monomania, touring, during live shows, Cox has worn sundresses and has performed with fake blood smeared over his face and hands their live show being much more savage than their albums. In his explanation of the sundresses Cox has said, I don't like the idea of going around stage in just jeans and a t-shirt. It seems anticlimactic. Der and her have supported many bands on tour, including Nine Inch Nails, TV on the Radio, Project Pat, Liars, Yeah Yeah Yeahs, Spoon, The Smashing Pumpkins, The Fiery Furnaces, Lower Dens, X models and battles. See also Atlas Sound, Bradford Cox's solo project, Lotus Plaza, Locket Punt solo project. References. External links. Official website. Derenter on MySpace. Official Halcyon Digest website. Written interview at Press Play and Record.